Hi friends, this is Chandan Prohit from Sattvic Soft Tech. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve a problem. Uh, this is actually a coding puzzle which has been asked by one of my students in my class. So here it is. Suppose you have a list, say A equals A, B, B, C, B and uh, a and D so <clears throat> this is a list uh, which has some repeated elements like you have A which has repeated twice and B which has repeated thrice uh, there is C and D which have not repeated at all so they are unique so the problem is uh, to get a new array to get a new list which has only those elements from this list uh, which are non unique so the expected output from this is A and B okay yes so because A and B are not unique okay so in order to do this there are many ways like depending on the level in uh, depending on how much you know about Python so a very naive approach would be <coughs> to take a dictionary to take an empty dictionary like this and then we loop through this array and load this dictionary based on the counts of these elements so something like this for element in D okay so I say if if the element is present in uh, sorry, so it's not element in D it should be it should be for element in A if element is present in D then I say D of element plus equals 1 else D of element equals 1 so so now you get a dictionary where it is showing me the counts of these elements so A is occurring twice and B is occurring thrice C and D each are occurring once in this array so now that I have a dictionary like this I can generate a array very easily so I'll take I'll take an empty array like this and then I look through this dictionary for key K in, in D <coughs> so I'll I'll append a element to the array B if its count is only one. If it is uh, more than one, I'm not go oh, sorry. If its count is more than one, so if its count is one, I won't append it to the array. So as simple as that. So I'll say if if um, if D of K if d of k uh, is greater than 1 is greater than 1 then I append p dot append append the key to b okay so as you can see by running this program we will be able to get a get an array where you have uh, where you have these elements which are non unique okay so this is a very clumsy approach and this is not an approach which you should follow uh, if you are a python developer so a better way would be to make use of uh, <coughs> make use of the counter and along with the list comprehension which i'm going to show you now so python already includes a counter which is part of the collections module so first we need to import the collections import collections so we still have this array a okay so now that we have the collections so collections has something called a counter so collections dot counter of a so as you can see here we are already getting a dictionary like object here so it is almost same as what we go, what we got previously with the the d so this is the D which you got generated by us after writing the program so we get almost the same thing here when we use the counter 
okay so that much of work is already uh, uh, removed for us so in order to generate the array all that you need is to, we need to loop to loop through this dictionary so because we are generating a new list uh, by looping through this dictionary <coughs> so we can make use of the list comprehension so we can finish this off in a single line by writing something like this so get me every element okay put put an element into this list for every element for every element in collections dot counter of a okay so if uh, so we, we can do something like this for dot items okay because we want the key and the value that would be better so this will be like element and its count so if if the count is greater than 1 so as you can see here it is generating a new list which has only those elements which are non unique so that's it for today friends will again i'll make again, again a video where i discuss how to solve this very same problem using javascript so see you then okay bye